welcome to The Daily Poem. I'm David Kern. Today's poem comes from William Butler Yeats, an Irishman who lived from 1865 to 1939. Perhaps the most remarkable thing about Yeats, besides his actual poetry, was the circle of people and poets that he spent time with. He was acquainted with Gerard Manley Hopkins, Thomas Hardy, George Bernard Shaw, Oscar Wilde, James Joyce, Sean O'Casey, and others. And he also worked as the editor of the influential Oxford Book of Modern Verse, which made him one of the leading um, curators of poetry during his time. He wrote many kinds of poetry in many modes. He wrote romantic lyrics, political satires, mythic metamorphosis, verse drama, aesthetic criticism, visionary history, and some of the deepest and most entertaining autobiographical writing of the age, as William Harmon writes in the Classic Hundred Poems. This poem was composed around 1890 and published in 1892. Its form is quatrains, rhyming ABAB, three hexameter lines followed by one tetrameter. According to William Harmon, this poem came to Yeats one day while he was standing on the pavement of Fleet Street in London, where a little fountain in a shop window reminded him of the waters of a lake back home in Ireland and also of the peaceful pond in Thoreau's Walden." End quote. This is The Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree, and a small cabin build there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee, and live alone in the bee-loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the vales of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. One more time. The lake I live in is free. I will arise and go now, and go to Innisfree, and a small cabin build there, of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee, and live alone in the bee-loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There, midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always, night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. This has been The Daily Poem, and I'll be back tomorrow with yet another poem. Thanks for listening.